Welcome back, it's your girl by your La Party Heaven. So guys, today we are filming a freestanding Christmas colored garland. Um, so you can see I've got my IKEA stand here. Um, before I get into the old thing we're doing, guys, if you've not subscribed to my channel yet, please click the subscription link below and click the notification buff button too so that you know when i post a new video um so yeah and remember to like the video and share and comment because when you comment youtube gets to think that okay more people would want to see the video so please that is why we always ask you guys to comment like and share so that it's not just a few people that will see the video but more because the more the merrier isn't it guys anyway pardon my stuttering so much this afternoon I'm, I'm tired but i just had to get this done and over with um so this arch is going to be a freestanding arch and guys can you see my back ground is all white now yes i got my husband to change the old painting of the house just because of you guys so he's painted the whole house white so that i could have better videos and better pictures you see i've got the best husband <laughs> anyway guys um so our stand the main thing you need for the framing is this is a nut lamp and you can get this at ikea so if you have IKEA in your country, we have, uh, I think we have like three in, the, in London or so. Yeah, we have one in Croydon, we have one not far from which is in Charlton, and then we have one in Grey. So if you're in London, you can get this from IKEA. If you're out of, if you're in the US, just, you know, just search online IKEA. And if you don't have an IKEA stand, you can make your DIY stand by using, um, um, what's it called? Tiles. Tapping them together with um, duct tape. This is duct tape. You'll find this in my Amazon store. Link is in the description below. Um, so, and then you tape it and you drill a rod into it. Um, yeah, I will get into that some other day. But for now, I am using an IKEA stand. It's a knot lamp. It's called knot lamp. N-O-T lamp. It's a normal standing lamp up lighter that you have in your house. Yeah, so what we do is we take off the top and then we have four rods. So this is, um, normally we have four rods, but I'm using, I think I'm using five here. Yeah. So I took one from another stand to make this five rods. So they all screw together. They come in pieces. So you just toss out the top and you can keep the top for something else. You can be creative with the top. Um, so yeah, so the main stand, main frame, is the ikea stand and here i've got um aluminium rod i don't know what they call it in other places but here in the uk it's called alu aluminium rod and this is i think this is five millimeter so it's there's five millimeter there's six from where i buy this from i got this from up up and away um up up and away i got it i think i got before they stopped um, they are online. I think I got it like four years ago or thereabouts. They are so easy to like, you know, they are bendy. So you can bend them and shape them. These ones I, sh I shaped already. I think I used it for letters. So you can even use it for, you can use it to do so many things. So that's what we're going to be using for our, um, our framing for the arch today. Um, so all you need to do is because the rod comes really long, so I, I've got a pipe cutter, I cut it into the size I want and I just use it. So for this one, I'm just going to bend it, um, yeah, I'm just going to bend it there, this way. And then I would use my, you could either drop it in for extra security or you could, um, So you push it in like so, or you tape it to the outside part of this. Um, so it depends on what you prefer. You could tape it out. I it depends on my mood really. So I'll just tape it, put it in, and then 
bend this bit to the height I want. So if you want your um, garland to have like, you know, like a swag kind of shape, you could just bend it. Ah, I used to really, I was always able to bend this easily, but I'm, I'm struggling with bending it right now. I don't know. I don't have strong hands like I used to. Um, there are times when I struggle, I just get my husband to run. I get my husband to like bend it for me. So you just bend it into shape if you want it to swell up. Um, so yeah, see? So you could decide to just use five. It depends on the height of where you're setting up anyway. So I could decide to use like just four. You don't have to use five, you could use three. It depends on how tall your, your garland is going to be really. So just push it in as much as you can, if you can. See? So you can bend your rod to whatever shape you want. That's my frame, and then I just get my duct tape. You find a duct tape in my Amazon store under the tool section, and you just tape it to it. shape you want. It all depends on the final look you're after really. I've got this piece left. I could, you know, I could tape it to it and just same duct tape and just extend it. So it depends on how big you want your garland to be. I think this is right for me. I don't want it to be bigger than this. Uh, so yeah, that's my stand, my frame ready. Um, so I've got my balloons here. I'm gonna be using red and green, you know, the normal traditional colors. Um, and then I've got some, this is um, Joel Tone Red. I've double stuffed it with willow. I don't know what color would come out at the end. And then I've double stuffed this one, this ruby red quality. I've double stuffed it with um, burgundy. Um, I don't know what color would come out. Yeah, I think this is the burgundy and the ruby red. So I think I like this color. And then I've got Bell Bell 11 inches um, in bright green. So I'm going to inflate my balloons. And I've got some ruby red 5 inches. And bell bell, I love the bell bell um, red. It has this um, this lovely color, like apple. Not even apple. It just has this. I like the pinky kind of undertone it has. It's really nice. So that's what we're going to be using. So it's a traditional arch. And then we've got some assets. I've got candy cane to add to it. I've got some other things to add to it to make it really Christmassy. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let's remember, subscribe. So guys, I am inflating the balloons now. And as you can see, I am inflating the um, 16 inches first. The 16 inches, remember I mentioned they are double stuffed. It's um, ruby red, double stuffed with, uh, I think I double stuffed it with uh, with burgundy yes with burgundy that's why the color is like that um yeah and then i double stuffed some of the burgundy with the ruby red just to give you know different variances of colors so i inflated them randomly the 16 inches 
I inflated it into like random size. So you could say, if you're worried about size, you could say like 14 inches and maybe like 12 inches or 15 inches with uh, maybe like 13 inches, you know, um, but not of the same size. So the 16 inches, the plan is to spread them out in the garland. Um, and so also the 11 inches are inflated into random sizes. The plan is to use the most, to use most of the 11 inches as, um, the added extra. So that is what I'll be using to bulk up the garland after arranging them on the column. So I'm just randomly inflating balloons now. Um, I would also inflate some five inches of the green and the red of the red. Um, so also I do not have 16 inches of the red. So, uh, sorry, 16 inches of the green. <laughs> sorry guys. Um, so yeah, 16 inches of the green is what I do not have. I only have the 11 inches of the green and five inches. Um, so I would just inflate those randomly um as i have done but what i i did with the 11 inches is um i inflated them like between 11 inches yeah 11 inches and nine inches for most of them since i have them in five inches so it's not too skinny if you get what i mean um and so also because i do not have the 16 inches in green i would be using the 16 inches red as the start off for my garland because you know we would want the bottom to be a bit bulky than the top you don't want it to be too bulky all the way around so you need to create like a wave whereby um the bottom will be bulky and then when you move to the next step it's a bit um slimmer and then you can move to the next step you can make it a bit bulky you know just create like a wave spiral kind of Thing. I hope you understand why I mean if you don't just let me know in the comment section and I'll, ex I'll try as best as I can to expl explain it some more um so yeah just to inflate your balloons randomly um I did not even count the amount of balloons I was using all I did was just eyeballed it you know I've done this for so long I've done it for so many years um I do not really need to count out my balloons um but I always make sure I have enough. So even if I feel, okay, I need more balloons, I would just inflate more. So you don't really have to stop with, you know, the balloons you've inflated. You have the time and the opportunity to like inflate more as long as you have enough bags with you. Um, so I have, have, you know, enough bags at all times enough amount of balloons at all times so i don't have any issues um when i need more if you get what i mean just if you don't understand like i mentioned just comment give me a, you know drop a comment and i will definitely re respond back to you to explain myself better um so you can see i'm using my arm pump to do my five inches balloon remember i've always mentioned that i just find it quicker to um, put the balloons together so the plan is to put my balloons on a fishing line then i would put it on here um there are times i would just arrange the balloon on the frame one after the other because that's that's actually faster um but in this case i think i would just prefer to do it on the fishing line first and then i would wrap the fishing line over the frame so you could choose um, two different ways of doing it. Um, so I'm going to tie, I'm going to tie my fishing line to the frame. So this will help it, help make it easier for me to um, arrange the balloons on. So just make a temporary loop, like so. So. Don't make it tight. Um, so that's my that's my fishing line. So I'm gonna start arranging the balloons. So because I want the base to be really wide, so I'm gonna start off with the the bigger balloons first. So you take the first um, a duplet duplet 
make a quad like that then wrap it around your fishing line one two. so you could actually just you know do like mini quads and just ar arrange it, it just it, I, I think it depends on what you feel comfortable with you don't have to do it the way everybody else does um i find myself changing the way i do my designs each time it just depends on how i am mentally in the space i'm working in so let's go so next another so you can see I am not putting it directly like this I am so you can see I am not putting it you know on top of each other verbatim I don't know how to explain that bit um, but I, I hope you understand what I mean and um, so I'm just trying to like put it on you know in a I don't know what English word to use, but I'm not stacking them on top of each other. So it's kind of like I am um, shaping it as I am stacking the balloons on, if you get what I mean. Um, for this, I mean, the mistake I made in this was I shouldn't have used the frame to put the balloons on the fishing line. I think I should have used the doorknob. Um, the doorknob would have made it easier or, a, you know, like a chair that is solid. Because this frame was, you kept on moving around. And another tip I would like to share you with you guys is, if you're going to be using this for a client, I would suggest that you use two of the bases. So the um, IKEA pole, if you buy two of the poles, just um, tape, using duct tape, tape the two bases together. So tape them, I'll try and show you guys in another video I I make I'll try and, the next time I have to use um, one of the stands I'll show you what I mean so you put it back to back and then you tape it with a duct tape so that mean that makes you have a heavier base if you get what I mean so your 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 frame won't be moving up and about like the way my frame was moving about here um, that's that makes it you know a really heavy base if you don't get what I mean once again guys just drop a comment in the comment section and I'll respond to you. I'll try and explain it via text more. Um, so you can just see I am mixing the greens, the red, and it's not like I'm doing it straight up. The garland is not like straight, straight, straight. So up to this point, it's feeling, I'm feeling uncomfortable, you know, arranging the <laughs> balloons on the fishing line because the base the frame is not strong enough so i just took it off and i just pushed my fishing line onto the frame straight up yeah so just push it on wrap it around make sure you push it on properly so if you remember i mentioned that you did not have to put the balloons on the fishing line first you can just arrange it straight up on your frame it just depends on what you're comfortable with yeah um, so just push the balloons properly onto the frame and you're good to go. So I just keep adding the balloons um, to the edge of the frame. So I finished the edge with the red balloons. And that was it for my main garland. The plus side again is the fact that you can still bend your frame even at this point, ship it to whatever shape you want. I'm going to add my extras to it, to, you know, each spot. So what you do is for this part,
So guys, uh, you can see I tied the 260Q onto two different um, cords of balloons and I used that for the base. So um, I'm not really particular about the base being like really bulky to be honest. And I'm not focusing on how the base looks. Reason is because I am going to be you know covering that not don't let me use the word um i'm not really bothered about what the base looks like the base still has to look nice but you don't have to like make it extra extra bulky as we would normally do with a garland um reason is because i'm going to be adding accents to that base my candy cane is going to be going there so um it would still you know uh, there'll still be a uniformity in the design because you know uh in the principles of design you you have to be sure of balance you know all those stuff um so yeah um i'm still going to get my balance with this because i'm going to be adding candy canes to that base so my main focus will just be the main uh body of the garland and making sure that everything you know evens out i don't want one part looking too big and another part looking out of place so i'm just strategically placing the balloons all over the garland using 260q once again so the 260q enables you to wrap it around the main garland um at this point i don't have to tie you know the the extras onto the balloons on the garland. So you see, I just added a bit more to the bottom. You can see the balloon, the garland keeps moving. It's because my base is not really strong enough. It's not heavy enough. So remember, if you're going to be doing this for a client, um, it will be good for you to have a, uh, you know a heavier base so use two of the ikea bases using a duct tape to tape it together and another thing you could actually do is if you're worried if you're um, when you when you shape the the net the top part of the garland you could actually if it, if, it, if it's not where you want it you could just use a double tape a uh, double-sided tape to tape it to the wall, you know, a normal tape, a regular double-sided tape that cannot be damaged easily. Sorry, not that, that cannot be damaged, that, the, that cannot damage your wall easily. It will stay in place because the wall is not your main frame. So the garland will stay in place. No doubt. I'm going to try and show you guys that the next time I build a garland on a frame like this. So I'm going to show you guys the other technique I just mentioned. So just keep stacking your extras, you know, making sure you're stepping back to look at what you're doing. So now I am, you know, attaching the smaller balloons and I'm trying to like create a stylish look here. You can see I pulled down the green because I don't want the green sitting down straight using my 260Q. You see, so because you, you want your, you want each color to sit together. You want to make it look like a marriage, like, you know, okay, this color doesn't really belong here, but this color is married to this color. If you get what I mean, guys. So when you're using different colors in a garland, like you're doing a color block kind of garland this way, please do, do not just let um, each color sit on its own. Let it blend into the next color. That's the beauty of a garland. When it, when it, when it, when it swims into the next one. I'll try and talk about this, you know, in my next video, well, you know, talk about it without doing a voiceover. I think that would be easier to explain. You know, you guys seeing me using my hands to explain this. So just keep checking and adding your five inches to 
the garland just keep adding till you're sure it's at the you know it's, it's the look you want See, I just keep adding the five inches. So, guys, next I'm going to add my candy canes. And then I did some glitter bubbles. And I'm going to be hanging. I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute. So I'm going to hang that here, all over it. Or you could either tape it to it, you know, or you tie it onto it. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So first, this is, I'm using, this is the smallest one. So first you pre-inflate it. I'm going to pre-inflate it using my um, electric machine first. It doesn't inflate a lot. And then you get your I float just put a dollop in it just a little yeah rub it together then you get your funnel so this is um, I think it's seven inches and you pour your glitter in just a little, depends on how glittery you want it to be. I'm just going to put very little. So that's it. And then I inflate. I'm going to press it around. So it's big enough. You can make it bigger, I think. I think it should be bigger, but I'm not going to risk it. It's seven inches anyway, so you just inflate it so you're up to seven inches. And then you get your 260 kill after you've turned it around several times. Tie it off. So once you've tied it off, um, the next thing you get your 260 Q and inflate it halfway. Then you make like a mini flower. That's a um, a twist. Twist it. So you can see you twist it into four places, and then you make a bigger twist. And just press it down. And then you have your top. So you could just, this, the, the, the top part, you might think, oh, I didn't get to see that really well. How can I do that? It's quite simple. Just make a, 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 a you know, you could just get a 260Q and just break it into four pieces and you have your top. You get... It, it, it would still stay in place and then you get two six uh, sorry you get a fishing line and then tie it to the flower you put on top of the bubble and then you tie it to your garland and you're good to go and you see my garland keeps moving up and down because my my base is not heavy enough
so you can see i'm just trying to like tie them to strategic places you know um you could just use your own creativity to do that bit next um i get my candy cane and i inflate it so my candy cane will be going at the bottom of the garland um because there are two yeah so the bottom that space looks better for them and then i have another big um, balloon that says ho 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 i'm going to be adding that to the garland too so you could add you know santa to it you could add anything to make it exciting and beautiful and there you have your christmas you know christmas organic balloon garland easy peasy freestanding you don't have to think about the wall you know so using a da you glue dash um, just tape your candy cane to the garland neatly whatever position you think you want it um, staggered would be nice you can see my garland keeps moving remember double your base double your base double your base guys um once you've doubled it you're fine uh so i tape with you glue dash and i try and look for where to keep, put the big balloon um you could just add as many sweet stuff as you like to the garland just to make it as pretty as you can um yeah and that's about it um great work guys and i would love to see you guys recreate this in your own style and in your own way So I decided to add um, some chrome balloons to the garland. So that's what I'm doing here. So you could, you know, just to give it a pop of color. You know how chrome pops up everything. That's what I tried to do here. So I just had a, added a couple, not a lot, but you could just add as many as you want. You know, it's your design, it's your creation. So just do what you can to make it look the best that you can make it look. So guys, we're done with our first Christmas themed arch. I hope you enjoyed doing this video with me. Um, please remember to subscribe. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section and I'll respond to you there. Share this video and please, please, please like this video guys and watch the ads, please. Thank you guys. So see you same time next week with another awesome Christmas design. Bye guys, bye.